Recently, I have been on an airplane nearly every single week, and I've gotten so good at traveling not only carry on only, but assembling a core set of essentials that I take with me on every single trip. These are all the little essentials that I put in my personal item and take with me on the plane, and these are essentials that I use not only in flight, but also throughout my trip. I have so much fun mixing, matching, refilling, and trying out different combinations of things every single week. We're gonna talk more about the items versus like the actual organized. If you've missed any of my past pack with me travel content, I'll link my travel playlist for you here. And of course, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description box. Love you guys so much and let's get started. We have four different categories today and we're gonna start off with beauty. My number one all-time travel essential, the facial spray. When you're traveling, your skin could get so dry, parched, exhausted. Having this fresh, burst of moisture will not only rejuvenate the skin and make you feel like a brand new person, I use these sprays in everyday life. Here I have the Evian water spray that I've used for many, many years. However, if you're looking for a facial spray with added skincare benefits, this is not a sponsorship, this is just a personal announcement. I had this amazing opportunity last year to work with Volition Beauty. They approached me and asked me if I could make my dream beauty product, what would I make? I wanted to pick a product that I actually obsessively use, so I'd love to introduce the Lychee Brightening Mist. Being 35, have Having combination Asian skin, I wanted a mist that not only targeted hydration, my uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, along with just having dry skin in your 30s. I want a juicy, even, bright skin and a really nice lightweight formula that can enhance the efficacy of my serums, offer benefits in and of itself, while also beautifully finishing my makeup and giving me that midday pick me up. Really proud of this formula. I've been working like literally over a year on something that would create juicy, hydrated, even toned skin. Hope you guys like it too. So if you guys are interested in trying this out or just getting more information, I'll include my pre-order campaign down below for you guys to check out. Next is a multi-purpose lotion, cream, or balm. And these formulas from La Roche Posay are some of my favorites. Super hydrating, non-irritating, and it can be very cumbersome to have specific moisturizers for like each parts of your body. Having an all in one is so useful because you can put it on your hands, your face, your body, and these specific ones you can use from babies to adults. So you can use it for the whole family and using so much hand sanitizer, your hands could get so dry. There's no way you don't need a little bit of lotion. I never travel without a version of this. Next important skincare essential is SPF. Like I mentioned before, when you're on a plane, you are subjected to so much intense UV and sun. Maybe you forgot your sunscreen, maybe your two hours are up and you need to reapply. So I always like to have a tube of sunscreen with me. This one is just my favorite because it's so tiny. It's super flat. It barely takes up any of your liquid allocation and it fits so perfectly in your travel size pouches. This is Supercoop's Unseen Sunscreen. Great under makeup, very invisible, and the portability is just top notch. So I love this one or I will pack a little dollop of SPF in one of my Cadence capsules. If you want a review on these, I'll include the video for you up there. Next is a stick of lip balm. Such an essential. You can do a shea butter like this one, a classic peppermint bird bees, but I recommend a stick just because your hands get so dirty while you're traveling. So having to dip it in a jar is just Mm. Keep it easy and go with the stick. And then for hair, I always carry a big clip to clip up my hair and then a coiled scrunchie, which you can do a quick ponytail without any of the crimping. And also what I love about the multi-purpose cream, if you've got really dry hair, you can use a little bit for your dry ends and flyaways. And then for dry shampoo, instead of taking the big old bottle, you can just put a little bit into a simple capsule. This is the original size cadence, by the way. So tiny, so useful, and you're not using any of the big aerosol dry shampoos that's gonna take up your liquid allotment. So love this. So let's move into like the health body section. I always like to carry two types of wipes with me. An antibacterial type that you can wipe down the tray tables, the armrests, your seatbelt, sanitizing your personal area. And second is a multi-purpose personal care wipe. If you're a mom, you probably have baby wipes at home or you can do something fancy like this from Honey Pot. I love it because this one is sensitive and it can cover intimate parts, body and face. Great multi-purpose purpose sensitive wipe. If you're stinky, grungy, greasy, this will have you covered and you don't have to carry multi wipes around. Next is a pill organizer and I have so many different types. This one comes in like a really big set but I just use this quad. I have one section for my sleeping gummies. I have one section for my hangover pills and my Zycam immunity pills. I've got pain reliever and then my lactate Tums compartments. If you're someone that has prescription or you have supplement based things, a pill organizer will save 
save you. You can do bigger sections like this. I like that these pull apart so you can customize the amount of days that you need to take. Or you can have a modular one like this, kind of like a briefcase. They have separate sections and you can allocate different small things in here. Or if it's just like a weekend trip, I have these micro ones. So instead of bringing the big clunky versions of everything, segment what you need per day or per category, stomach issues, sleeping issues, drinking issues, whatever issues you have, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to just make sure you got what you need, baby. <laughs> so speaking of supplements, I am a supplement nut. I have always a pack with me of my daily essentials. I've got my comprehensive supplements like AG1, vitamins, prebiotics, probiotics in a little container like this. I've got emergency for immunity. I've got hydration, electrolyte packs like Water Boy and Element. And then I also have immunity-based stuff like Beekeepers Naturals, which is a propolis-based immunity zinc supplement. Obviously with travel, you're trying to prevent getting sick or maybe you get sick on the trip and then you've got some backup here. I love when companies have these individualized pouches so you can easily take the amount of days that you need with you on the go. So I always got a pouch for my supplemental pouches here. And then next I have some spray versions of this. Again, I love Beekeepers Naturals. They also have immunity support sprays. You just spray at the back of the throat. They have kids and adults versions. These are also great for immunity protection. And if I do get sick, knock on wood, I also always have a Zycam nasal no drip spray here, which helps shorten the cold. And then lastly, I also have an eye drop because your eyes get really dry with like the airplane air blasting your face. Eye drops can help with not only moisture, but also redness if you haven't slept on the flight. Okay, next for first aid, I don't know about you, if you're clumsy or your kid gets in an accident, I love this little Band-Aid antiseptic on the go spray. It's very petite and tiny. And then I also carry a couple of Band-Aids with me. You might get a cut, your kid might get a cut. So just having this on hand just makes me feel better. But then for hygiene, I like to always keep an emergency panty liner with me. You never know when your period is gonna hit and it's never at the right time, so. If you got spicy pits, you have your body wipes. And then I like to keep one of these miniature deodorants with me. These are so convenient. Lumi and Native make these awesome travel size ones that I always keep with me. Just great for a quick touch up. And then last but not least for your stinky breath, I always like to have a Listerine Fresh Burst mouthwash pocket pack. These are like dissolvable like mouthwash squares that you could put on your tongue and it makes you nice and fresh for a kiss. Or I'll also just pack my travel toothbrush with one of these Steripods on there to protect the bristles with some toothpaste. Totally up to you. And then moving on to tech, you will never see me on a trip without this guy. This is like a power strip adapter. What I love is that you can have a little extra length here with this cord, but you have a great combo of USB, USB-C, three prong and two prong. I was on a trip one time and all of like the charging station sockets were full and I whipped this thing out and I was like, hey, you wanna share? <laughs> and me and two other people were able to plug all our stuff in there by just using using one socket into the wall. Hands down my number one essential tech travel product, never go anywhere without it. In addition to this guy, I always have my laptop charger and some kind of like big size pouch. I have all of my cords for my camera equipment, my laptop, my iPad, my cell phone. I also utilize a very small SSD for editing and taking my assets on the go. It's very small and portable. And then I recently loved these little tiny adapters that go from USB-C to USB. And lastly for tech, external batteries. I have three favorites. I have this Mondo one that's very heavy, but if you got multi-devices or you and your kid are traveling, you need multi-full charges. This one is my favorite. I also like that it's very easy to see how much juice is in there. My second favorite for just single use is this Inu one. It has a very easy, readable battery charge life with two outs here, nice and slim and not super heavy. And then for a micro size one, I I love this one. I love this one because it has the lightning cord embedded into the outer exterior. I use these just to charge my AirPods since I have the iPhone 15 that uses a USB-C. This is a great portable one that can fit in a purse when you're going out to the curb. And finally, some miscellaneous accessories. I like to pack a pair of socks if the plane gets cold or you need to take your shoes off and you forget that you're wearing flip-flops. Socks are such a comfy essential to keep you comfy on the plane and also protect your feet. Second is my jewelry. I like to keep my jewelry on hand 
and sometimes going through security, you can set off the alarm. So having your essential jewelry kind of packed away in your personal item can help prevent any delays. Third essential is snacks. I always like to carry like a little bar with me, a little thing of trail mix. Sometimes I just don't want to pay $20 for a sandwich at the airport. So if it's a quick flight, I like to pack my own food. Fourth accessory is a foldable tote. My Bagu collection is extensive and aggressive and they are so great because in case you're shopping on your trip or you want to take something back home, having a super slim weightless shopping bag is super useful. And then fifth is an empty water bottle. You can get ones that are nice and sleek and collapsible. My favorite ones are like the memo ones that fit almost like a notebook in your bag. Those are great and very chic. You can fill up at the airport at any of the water filling stations. And lastly, all these essentials are for like my domesticated flights. I normally don't take a flight that's more than like two, two and a half hours. I do direct flights from here to California. So if you're on an international flight, I would also consider a blanket. There's this brand called, I think Ever Snug, but it's like a blanket pillow combo that has great ratings. That one could be great so you don't get cold on the plane. Also a neck pillow. If I am traveling internationally, I will bring that just because you need it to sleep and not have a crick in your neck. And then lastly, an eye mask. Great to help with sleeping. And it's such an easy, compactable thing that you can slip in any of your pouches and enjoy better sleep along with your neck pillow. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Give your girl a thumbs up if you still enjoy all this travel content. I'll include my archives for you right here and all the details in today's video down below in the description box along with my pre-order campaign for my new facial mist with Volition. I love you guys so much. I hope you have safe travels and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.